they're out there. And we've got to kill them. They're trying to take over the world. I don't know why. I don't know where they come from. All I know is they're out there. They have followed me from many places. And we've got to get out. <laughs> this is your last warning. Get rid of them if you can! I'm out. I don't have any more. There's no way I can hold them off. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. God, I... I just hope anybody can get this message. Just, just, just do what you can. Do what you can to save yourself! Welcome back to yet another Plasticon review. Yes, this is kind of in your face today because we're going to be talking about role play toys. Role play toys brought in by the GoBots. Yes, GoBots had role play toys. You know, you had all these crazy toys way back in the 80s that like let us all dress up and do what we wanted and made what we wanted. You know, cowboys and Indians and all this kind of crazy stuff. Well, you know, we're kind of talking a little bit about robots here because they are GoBots. So, let's go on and start talking about some of the toys that came out of the 80s dealing with the GoBots. First off, I want to talk about the GoBot Cap Gun. The GoBot Cap Gun. It's very, very, very awesome. It is really cool looking little space age retro future, if you will, gun. It's got a lot of detail. It's lots of detail in this thing. It's really neat. It holds together really well, so I mean, you can actually play with these things. And the reason why it kind of flops around a little bit is, I mean, with age. This is literally the only thing that's making noise is that thing on top. But that's just the gimmick that pulls down to allow you to install caps. Sadly, I don't have any caps right now. My dollar store was out and couldn't get any caps for a review. I'm sorry. Oh well, sad day. Anyway, it still works. It's very cool. It's a really neat looking little cap gun. But what does this cap gun do that has anything to do with the GoBots, right? It turns into a little robot. Simply by pushing all that in, breaking his back. Then you will lift out on these. When you do this, this is all spring loaded, so it kind of springs into action! Because, you know, that's what the GoBots were all about, right? And then you just move these little arms around. There you go, you got scoop little arms, and then you push the trigger up to make his chest. There you go! I absolutely love this crazy sticker. This is retro, awesome cool robots this is what robots should look like i'm more into this kind of thing it's very neat it does say gobots right there by the way so i'm not lying it is gobots really cool i do like these guys a lot these guys are not that expensive they're very cool they're very easy to find on ebay um to find one that's actually in working order it's kind of difficult this one does work but it's very temperamental mainly because this bay right here tends to get corroded over time. And sometimes these are difficult to move. I mean, this one is kind of wishy-washy. But these things are awesome. Get you one. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is a water gun. Yes, a water gun. 
my autofocus is going all out of whack. I don't know what's up with it. Hey, there we go. It works! Anyway. Water pistol. Basically what you would do with this water pistol, you take this end here and you would dip it down into a bucket of water and then you would just pull this out. Do that, it would suck all the water into the, uh, the barrel. And then as you pull the trigger, it would retract. Kind of limiting you on shots, but at least it had some kind of like functioning action. I mean, it's really, really cool. I do like the way this thing works. It's really neat. But it turns into a robot as well. But it's very translucent. Very translucent. Look how translucent this thing is. But most water guns were back then. I mean, really cool. Very neat. Very awesome. His transformation, you flip this thing. Oh, actually, no, you don't. You flip up the arms. Whoop. Whoop. And you flip this back. And you stand him up. Thanks, robot. I am robot. Robot, robot. Robot, robot. Very digital, very retro, very awesome face. Look at that. Look at that. It's cool. You can't tell me that isn't cool. Any of you guys out there into like really crazy, weird robots? This is one to get because he's awesome. I usually find these kind of pretty, you know, not really that expensive, but it is difficult to find one that actually has the sticker still intact. Because he is a water pistol. His arms go wee. Unlike the scoop arm thing. I just put down anyway, let's move on to the next one. By the next one, I mean double barrel action rifle thingy. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, right? It's a double barrel rifle. This is twin laser cannon action. I mean, come on. Who doesn't like that? Who doesn't like double barrel action doys? Seriously, this thing's actually pretty good size. It's really not that small. I mean, it's it's a big gun. Very, very, very cool. Do love this. Very awesome thing. Yeah. Because you know what? They're out there. Anyway, you got to pull this little portion here down. And then you see double caps because it has double triggers. And then the head portion here acts like the sight, which is really neat. Very cool. And by the way, smoke does come out of here when you actually use the caps. It's pretty cool. It does hold together very well. Um, mine actually has one small issue where this barrel doesn't want to stay. But I started looking in one of the little tabs in there that actually holds it in that position for a long time. Came loose. But I mean, that's just friction causing that. But if you could be using this thing, I mean, a little kid might hold it here. An adult's more or less going to hold it here. So, you know. Anyway, let's go into his transformation. You flip up the trigger arm. When you do that, it will release the feet. The feet actually have a peg at the bottom that you have to undo. And then you'll slide these up. And the next thing you're going to do is you're going to retract the barrels. Arm down. Other arm down. Flip his head around. There you go. There's Retro. He is such a doofy looking thing, but he is so cool. This thing literally looks like something that jumped out of like a 50s sci-fi Actually, has wheels on the bottom too, so you can roll him across the floor if you want to. His arms don't move forward, which is the only gripe that I got. But honestly, as cool as this toy is, why not? You gotta be a maniac not to have one of these. Moving on. Last but definitely not least is my absolute favorite. This is more like a phaser, crazy scope, awesome rifle of. This thing is sweet. It's really cool because it it's two robots. This is actually two robots when you transform. I mean, look at the size of this thing. This thing's humongous. And if you thought the other one was a very large robot, 
this one is huge. It's very cool. It's got nice translucent goodness going on there, along with a little bit here on the tip. I did put batteries in it, but the batteries died, so it doesn't turn on anymore. But it does have like a multicolored little scope thingy. Speaking of scope though, this scope thing actually works. You can actually see through it. See? See my finger? Very cool, very awesome. These guns are sweet. Very difficult to find one in this condition along with everything. I have not found a lot that had two of the scope guy and then two of these. But the clip on the other one was broke so I can't try to do some crazy thing where I can add another one here at the bottom which would have been cool if I could just put two of it. You really can't because you don't really have like two sets of clips there although I guess you could kit bash and put another arm here and then put another one down here and then you have this crazy thing with like 45 lasers and 35 sights and just blowing up robots everywhere. Why not? It's your own imagination. Just do it. Anyway, let's move on. First thing you'll do, pull this here off. Now these are kind of a rubbery type of plastic here. So they do kind of stretch and I suggest pulling out and over. So that way you don't break the pegs or break the arms or break these. We'll get back to this in a minute. This, that's pretty much the robot right there. It does have a little backpack that's held on by that that slides on there. That's it. That's the scope bot, which is cruelly pretty cool. It does say go bots right there. Nice little. I love these foil stickers. We don't get enough of these nowadays. Seriously, like, I'm sorry. I love the detail that was given to you from like the 70s and the 80s toys, and some of the 90s toys had crazy detail just brought out from the stickers. I mean, look how goofy that looks, but it looks so cool. I love it. It's awesome. Anyway, let's move on back over to the the, the main beast. Here's the main beast, the big guy. The pew pew pew, 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 pew. By the way, this is a cap gun as well. It does have a little lever here that you will pull. Open it up to load it. But it does have an optional loading thing, which is kind of cool. That's where you flip this thing here. And then it allows you to remove the power bay and then you're able to put the thing back in there and then just slide back in here and lock it back in position and you're ready to go again because it's a rifle of awesome photonness come on it's a photon plasma rifle what do you expect seriously handle with caution though I mean, it's it's cool it really is cool Anyway, let's move on to its transformation. First thing you're going to do, well, come down here to the this part here, because this part here is kind of complicated. First thing you'll do here is you'll reach back here and unlatch that. And you just got to kind of push this up and apart. You kind of have to use a little bit of force there. And then you'll move that one up. Then this, you'll unlatch, just like the other one. Slide this all the way down. And then, do that. And then you can relatch that, keep it locked, moving. And this one, just slide it up. Then you just take these little arm things here and dislodge those and move those down. Then you'll extend them. And then the head part will come down. Then you take this part, push it down, and there you go. There's the robot. This is very sci fi. This is very like in your face invaders from Mars and all that kind of craziness. I mean, seriously, this is like. This is what retro robots are all about. I mean. You have no idea how how big 
a smile was on my face when I unboxed this thing. I was like, this is the coolest thing in the world. It literally is. But I couldn't do an unboxing. Why? Because I wanted to play with the toy. I wanted to show you what it does. Because it's awesome. And it's cool. And retro robots are the way to go. Seriously. I mean, I collect Generation 2 stuff, but this stuff seriously screams G2 as well. Because look how crazy the colors are. The colors don't even make sense. And it literally looks like something that just stepped out of a Mars spaceship. Seriously, look at this thing. It's awesome. So, without any further ado, this has been Plastic On. This has been yet another crazy review. Does he fall with the war? It's a 80s toy. They can take a piece, remember? Anyhow, this is me, sign off. Peace out, you guys. Have a happy Halloween and all that craziness. And by the way, go out and go get some robot guns to help out with your. RP cosplay. I'm gonna be a spaceman for Halloween. See you later.